brief message from your friendly neighborhood editing Jordan. We tend to try to keep things pretty PG-13 around here, but this is an improv podcast. So who knows what we're going to say. Sometimes we throw in some swearing, some sexual content, and some violence. So as a general warning, viewer discretion is advised. Also to be noted, the opinions stated about a certain tabletop role-playing game are just that, our opinions. We love the game and we like talking about it. So any criticisms are really just all in good fun. That being said, wizards, please hire us. All right, with that out of the way, let's get on with the show. So I did some I did some homework. Yeah. Since last episode, mm-hmm. I decided I wanted to see like what people were actually saying about stuff. Mm-hmm. So I went to r slash d and d next and r slash d and d and looked up, and looked up all the stuff that we were talking about. Yeah, no, don't be sorry. I think Dylan is insane. Yeah. Um, I think I encountered out of like. 50 conversations on both subreddits like maybe two or three times where people were unreasonably mad about the changes and the rest was all like regular calm debate about the changes and people were like I can understand that it's reasonable but I perhaps just maybe don't agree with it but I will probably still be attempting to play it or trying it in the future um they did they didn't seem nearly as angry as as Dylan has been making them out to be in my opinion so I have to change the title of last week's video then. I was, I was going to say, that's the classic, is uh, <laughs> people hear someone got angry online, maybe one person did, and so everybody goes like, oh, Reddit. <laughs> 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 Most of the time they're true. Not all the time, though. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Nat One Podcast, a.k.a. Nope, because nope, you're not going to want to hear what we're about to have to say. I'm producing I'm Levi. And I'm Jordan. But yeah, I I just read some things about the paladin and the barbarian and the, the fighter. Most people generally across the board seem to have liked the changes they have made to the marshals. Um, I will say <clears throat> there is one more thing about the paladin that mm. it has not... I do not want it changed for Paladin, but it now has just made Bard even stronger if they don't change Bard. Oh, yeah. And so that makes me mad, which Ooh, is man, they removed secrets. they removed the cap on Smite for the dice, the damage dice. So a Bard can just be better than a Paladin for damage output forever. So this Rude. is why they did it in truth, okay? We yeah. know why they changed it now <laughs> is to make Bard stronger because they love the Bard. Yes, the Bard is ju- yeah. the Bard will just be the best uh, marshal now because uh, they, for some reason, said, yeah, we're going to remove the damage cap on the D8s for Smite so you can actually do a ninth level Smite now. Uh, uh, which oh. just makes, if it, if it works the same, because it might not, we haven't gotten there yet to see it, If they haven't done substantial changes to College of Swords or Valor Bards, they will just be better paladins now. Um, Yeah, I think we're screwed. (laughs) But a lot of people were pointing out that, just for for a little bit of recap on last episode for anyone who didn't watch, it seems what they're trying to do with paladin is they're pushing them from being a DPS into a support tank role. As in, they're trying to incentivize them casting spells more by knocking down their damage output. Um, but then people were getting into like, well, then they shouldn't have made Smite a bonus action because that's going to de-incentivize casting bonus action spells. Um, but I digress. Yeah, but the argument against that, though, is that you shouldn't be smiting every turn if that's the case. I <laughs> Well, that's the thing is people, there's going to be people who are used to the old play style and they're not going to want to do that. A lot of people were just saying what they should have done is they should have just limited it to once a, a, a turn, one smite per mm-hmm. turn, keep it as a class thing. Don't make it a spell. And then that would incentivize also casting at the same time. Um, I can understand both sides of the argument. Um, but overall, generally people, again, seem to be like, it might not be exactly what we wanted, but I'll try it and Mm -hmm. see how it goes. Um, so yeah, that, that was my little adventure onto D and D next and r slash D and D, uh, over like the 
two days after we recorded last episode. <laughs> yeah, I just don't care. Nerf Paladin. <laughs> just delete the entire class. Yeah. No, honestly, I think it's in, with what the changes were, I think it's in a much healthier state than it was before. The only yeah. thing that I think we should change still a little bit is lay on hands. They changed it in a good way already. I have to see what the mm-hmm. pool looks like now. Oh, and that lay on hands is also a bonus action. So that they were too. like, find your priority, make something not a bonus action so that you're telling the paladin to do something that's not smite. I don't know. I like that there's the choice there, though. You have to decide, are you going to heal or yeah. are you going to hurt mm-hmm. more? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it gives it more of a actual class identity because you have to choose your actions carefully instead of smite then do everything else that you can possibly do mm. also i don't know how many bonus action spells the uh paladin has access uh, to other than uh, <laughs> nobody else heard him right oh, no his goodness. mouth is moving and no audio is coming out crazy oh now <laughs> i can hear you what in the world <laughs> i just beat my microphone okay <laughs> But in any case, we're here to discuss the wizard to start with today. True. We're just we're just continuing down the list. Yeah. In chronological order that they've released it. The most recent of which, if I'm looking at this correctly, is either Rogue or Sword of Druid, because they released a thing specifically about Circle of the Moon Druid, but it mm-hmm. seems to be a comprehensive list, sort of. But we'll get to that when we get to that, if we get to that. Yeah. We'll start with Wizard. So, does anybody know how wizards work? No, still haven't figured it out. Yeah, kind of. Why? I don't... Is anything different? Yes, uh, quite they, a bit. I don't know they how change they when you get your subclass. The, um, they added a bunch of features, but otherwise not. Wizards well, get they, expertise they, now. They changed oh. how uh, wizard subclasses function. I yep. noticed they changed them from school of to just school Which of name I, er. I hate I hate that. It's stupid. It should be school of Yeah. Evoker. So there there's a couple different things that they changed. One of the main things that has been changed is something like the uh memorized spell feature. Mm-hmm. which uh, just got added, uh, which is level 5. But before that, there's not much that was changed other than, like, adding uh, adding the ability to get expertise, which just makes sense for a educated wizard, and then being able to have ritual uh, spells that you haven't actually prepared, which is just cool. But Memorize Spell is the first big one, which is wizards can swap one prepared spell per uh, per long rest. Not sure. Sorry, they can swap one prepared spell out for another one in their spell book per short rest, which is just really interesting and gives a lot more flexibility to the class. So. Oh, that's the one you were telling me about the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, incentivizes short resting for wizards. Um, yes. which the only thing they had for that before that was arcane recovery. Yeah, yeah. So. Which I'm always here for incentivizing short rest because, as it stands right now, I don't think that there's enough reason to take short rest most of the time. Yeah. Well, it really depends on your party composition. Mm-hmm. Um, but the fact that like half of the classes don't really have anything for short rest, while the other half do, can make that a problem. So I, mm-hmm. they, I, I agree. I think they need to make sure that everyone has something they can benefit from substantially on a short rest, so that people will always be okay with the idea of short resting. In certain situations. That's kind of true, but I also like the old idea of, like, one class exceptionally benefits from short rests while others maybe benefit just a little bit. Mm. Like, um, we talked about that a long time ago with the monk, where it'd be really cool if a monk just gets a ton of stuff from a short rest versus Mm. other classes not getting a whole lot. Because then that's their whole thing, is they're just like, they're the the martial version of Warlock. They get their whole (laughs) kit back on a short rest. Yeah. But the wizard didn't have much, so sure. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, subclasses changed actually quite a bit in this. Yeah. So, uh, uh, 
first one that's in the list is Abjurer, the School of Abjuration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Essentially, uh, they get the same ward thing that they did before, wherever it, it has an amount of hit points, and you can block stuff with it. So, uh, it is now a bonus action to refill the hit points on that, which mm -hmm. is just good. Otherwise, they get... A, another new feature that just gives them counterspell and dispel magic as constantly prepared spells and you can also uh, dispel magic as a bonus action yeah which is pretty solid and then uh, if either of those fail so if you fail like a, a counter spell check then it just doesn't consume the spell slot which is That's really I, good. I like that. I, I like this trend of having things not expend resources when they fail, because that kind of sucks when you use up all of your stuff on things that don't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, before we get into the other ones, there's also another new thing with all the different subclasses is the school of magic that they relate to. Wizards get every level. They get one free spell from their chosen school to add their, to their spell book so they get three extra spells per level because they get the normal two that they get from the level up plus one from their subclass so mm. yeah I'm 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 50-50 on the push towards not expending things on failures because I do understand the it sucking uh, using something and then having it not work, but at it's the same also time, the name of the game, though, right? You're yeah, you're taking away any risk reward for that situation if you're doing that for There's everything. No There's no, <laughs> but for 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 someone like Abjur specifically, I see that work because that that's that's part of the subclass. There is like okay, that's a special thing that's just for you. Yeah. Um, if it was more like all wizards could do this, I would be like, I don't like that. Um, but I still am iffy about it, but I'm a little bit more like, I can understand it if it's just for Abjur. Have you guys seen, um, I know earlier we talked about they didn't, they haven't put out a spell list thing yet, but I'm pretty sure they have uh, talked about specifically Counterspell. Have you guys heard how they're changing Counterspell? I recall, mm -hmm. but I like I remember we talked about it, but I have no memory of what we They're making happen. it a uh, concentration saving throw for the person being Counterspelled. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Um, so no longer is it a check on the uh actually it might still be a check, which would be weird, but I don't think it is. Um, no longer is it a check on the part of the person who is is doing it. It's a saving throw on the part of the counter spelled. Um, and although we don't have all the details out, I would assume that it would work kind of like how scrying works, where like if it's not at the correct level, they probably get like a plus to the mm -hmm. saving throw based on that but or it could be how it works now just also with a saving throw attached to the end of it which would make it really complicated <laughs> um and i'm not sure if i like that uh but we don't know completely yet so i have to wait till the spell list drops yep um, no, with the yeah. non-consuming spell slots thing, I I will defend my position a little bit. I don't think it should be for everything. Like mm. if you cast a spell and you miss your attack or something, yeah, that spell slot's gone. I think for stuff like class features, like the, like this specific kind of thing, like what you were saying, yeah. it's just abjurers that can do it. I agree with that. Like for specific class features and stuff, it really does blow if you like try to do the super cool thing and then it doesn't work. Yeah. And then you're just out the class feature for the rest of the long rest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't like that this really strange looking halfling man is staring he's doing at it me again. while we're reading this. Huh? Wait, I'm not he's, looking He's at... moving his mouth and I can't hear him. Oh. Oh. I have no. the screen minimized. I, try... uh, I was, I'm, I don't like this strange looking wizard man that's staring at us. Huh? Uh, the one with the eye patch? Yeah. Oh, you I thought like you were talking about the little gnome. I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's a halfling or a gnome or what, but I don't. He looks way too serious for his height. No, I was talking That's... about the green gnome on TikTok. Oh, I ain't. I ain't about all that right now. He's funny. I like him. I'm on the side That's... of the knights. How could you not like his eye patch? Um, I didn't say anything about his eye patch. I don't like that he's staring at me. He can't I mean... help it. He only has one eye. Uh, he can look somewhere else. But 
I also noticed that it said that now wizards have a fixed value for how many spells they can prepare instead of a uh, number plus number. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting. It's easier to calculate. Mm. It is, but at the same time, I feel like if you're a smarter wizard, you should be able to prepare more spells than a not smarter wizard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And nobody can read your spell book. Your writing is that bad. Unless Dang. I cast <laughs> identify. <laughs> That's actually what it says. You can cast identify to read spell books, but otherwise you can't read them. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like Dr. Scribbles. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the epic boon that they recommend for the wizard is actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, um, it, it looks really cool. When you cast a spell using a level of 1 to 4, roll a d4. If you roll the spell's level, the slot isn't expended. You get no, a 25% chance not to expend 1 through 4th level spells. No, I'm using I the barbarian it. one. I'm using the barbarian <laughs> one. Add plus 20 <laughs> to the damage roll. True. Fireball. Um, uh, wouldn't work, not a targeted attack, but but thank you for your enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it would uh, work on... Uh, what's that one called? Magic Finger Missile. Of death. Oh. Two very different ideas. Magic Missile would make it very strong. I was thinking Finger of Death because if you kill anything with it, it becomes a zombie. True. So add an extra 20 damage on there. Humanoids. Just in case. If, you, if you kill humanoids, they became zombies, as we yeah. found out. <laughs> yes. All right, Taryn, I know you're waiting. Go ahead. What? Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the next subclass. Oh. Yeah, uh, so Diviner and Evoker didn't change that much. Uh, Diviner got C Invisibility. Uh, being able to cast that for free without a spell slot makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Evoker, they just swapped the places of Potent Cantrip, Sculpt Spells. Yeah, it, it's basically the exact same. They changed Illusionist a lot. No, the funny... This was the one that had the funny you can make an anvil drop on somebody's head and it actually hurt them. This was the Looney Tunes <laughs> subclass. No, I, don't tell me. They take the Looney Tunes I, out of the subclass? No. I hate the changes that they made to it. I think it's really stupid. What'd they do? So, first of all, uh, good thing that they did was uh, instead uh of the normal, like, improved minor illusion thing, mm. they replaced that and just upgraded, like, minor illusion, but they allow you to ignore verbal components for minor illusion, which is, uh, cool. Uh, and I think all illusion spells, I'm not sure on that. I'll have to check once the thing comes out. But, uh, the level 6 class feature, though, they get phantasmal creatures, which grants them two conjuration spells as an illusionist. But they're illusions. So you get to make illusionary creatures. Oh boy. <laughs> I... This sucks. This is the it's most so over stupid. it's ever been. But I, I missed my Looney Tunes character. Yeah. They should have done literally do, anything else. I do want to say I'm pretty sure one time I looked it up and you actually can't do the drop anvil on head make it hurt person thing. We well, couldn't do that. But version. you could do illusory bridge. You, you could, could make do a illusory giant fake bridge. bridge. Well, you still can do that. They didn't change that, but they just replaced everything else in the class with phantasmal creatures you can cast them as illusion spells and uh you can cast them for free without a spell slot i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you chief mm -hmm. i did not know what illusionist could do in 2014 php at those levels before this um so i i think they might be trying to look for well I'm not saying the class, that the subclass. I'm not saying that the illusionist in 2014 was good or anything. I'm just saying what they did with it now is really stupid. Mm. They but should have done literally little, anything it is, else. It is a little goofy. I can agree with that. But also, I'm gonna remember the goofy illusionist that for some reason can summon a bunch of illusory creatures over the one that I've never thought about. <laughs> In okay. 2014's PHB. All I care about is that my Looney Tunes is preserved. So long as <laughs> I can walk on a bridge and when my enemies try to pursue me, they fall through it. 
That's yes, all that I care still there. about. Or that is in I, fact uh, still there. If I can make a hole that I can walk through to get to the other side of something and my enemies run right into it, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. See, I'm having trouble forming an opinion on the wizard updates because I've never played a wizard. I don't understand how to play a wizard. And I don't have any intentions of playing a wizard. <laughs> Illusion I mean, they... was the only one I ever wanted to play because of the Looney Tunes effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, no, otherwise, they did not make many changes to wizard. They just gave it buffs other than subclasses. Like, Yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem too different. They didn't yeah, really because... change much except for the subclass stuff and gave it expertise now. Yes. Yeah. They they um, quite literally just gave it extra features and did not change anything. Which else. also, it specifically specifies you can't get expertise in anything. You can get expertise in arcana, history, yeah. investigation, yeah. medicine, nature, or religion, which yeah, I which think makes, all makes sense. That makes sense. That's yeah. fine, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I mean, it makes sense because really the wizard isn't hardly a class, let's be honest. The wizard yeah. is the guy that casts a lot of spells and the spells are your class. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. There's like that's that's how wizards are. They don't have yes. hardly any class, so that makes sense that they hardly been changed because I don't think the spells have been changed hardly at all. So honestly, I yeah. don't really think five e wizards were that bad. So no, me I don't. Yeah, they didn't yeah, really they have to do much. Changing. They were arguably the best spellcaster in the game. They just had a so... lot of spell access. That's what yeah. set them apart. Which they but still I, I think they were pretty well balanced for and how their class is supposed to player. work. Yeah, because yeah. the player yeah. had to pick good spells and then um, use them appropriately. So yeah, no, I mean, they didn't really have to change a lot, a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, it just seems like they mostly did quality of life stuff, like the, oh, you can have expertise now, and uh, what's this? They they have ritual adept now? Yeah, that's As long that's as a spell with ritual tags ritual. in your spell book. Uh, you can remember the spell book, you can cast it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't, the only thing, I think their biggest challenge going into this was making sure that all the subclasses felt fair against each other, because that was the biggest problem that Wizard had in 2014 PHB, is that yep. all the subclasses did not feel equal against each other, because some mm -hmm. gave much greater benefits than others. Mm -hmm. and Evoker, have, Abjurer... Um... And I, I think abjuration is a lot better now yeah because of the stuff with the spell magic and counter spell it was already pretty good in 2014 yeah otherwise diviner is still the best one other than evoker if you want damage well, dep yeah it depends on what like... you're wanting to do with it mm -hmm. um, yeah. diviner is probably the best utility still Mm -hmm. um abjurer definitely has been pulled up a little bit more as a support for combat mm -hmm. even more than it already was it was still a pretty good support in 2014 mm -hmm. uh evoker is going to be the best if you want to just do straight damage um yeah so yeah i mean as you say the yeah. problem is just illusionist but if they don't make any more subclasses which i think would be disheartening but if they <laughs> don't illusionist has a good identity mm -hmm. but the minute they make conjurer now they're in trouble. <laughs> exactly. The minute they fix conjuration, finally. Yeah. No, which I I have heard a little bit that they have separated summoning spells and conjuration spells in some way, mm. which I don't know exactly what that's about. Terrence got a plug on the inside. <laughs> well, well, yeah. they, they they on the YouTube videos that they've been uploading, they talked about that a Karen little. Karen knows somebody that works for Jeremy Crawford. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Jeremy the Antichrist. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see. Again, I assume they will eventually add all the schools. Maybe not all, but I would think that they need to add necromancy. I think yes, that's, that's a need. And fix it. And they need to fix it. And we'll Make see it playable. from there. I think at this point they should really... Um, this doesn't have anything to do with wizard, but I think they should separate necromancy from the healing spells and make a new yeah. school of magic for the yeah. healing spells because it would be oh. interesting to have a, a healing wizard it and, would. and yeah. see how you could separate that from a cleric you just scared me you gave me a terrifying thought what uh they make necromancy wizard but it's all about healing magic instead ha! of anything else oh my cursed. god you very, just gave very me cursed. a terrifying thought yeah they would. They'd be like, we've decided they to would. make necromancy wizards about healing instead of the actual forbidden practice of raising the dead. I mean, uh, I mean they gave the goddamn healing. illusionist conjuration spells, so <laughs> it's fucking new. Sorry. Uh, 
Well, Counter I don't understand why they can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why why they haven't figured out how to make the Necromancer playable because it's been playable in previous editions. So mm. I don't quite understand what the disconnect is between now and two editions well, prior. Well, they don't want to give people permanent followers. <laughs> well, I also think part of the problem is is they really simplified the game for 5e mm. because... 3.5e, as much as we laud it here, uh, we laud it because of its overcomplicatedness and and massive amount of over-explaining it does of a bunch of features, which allows for really interesting things like Necromancer to be good in 3.5e. But um, for 5e, they really simplified the game so that a lot of new people could get into the game. And now it seems like to me they're starting, the wheels are starting to grease again with this and they're starting to make things a little bit more complicated again now that there's a new base of players for the game by doing stuff like making all the weapons have their own special properties again mm -hmm. and giving giving every class like a bunch of new feet like barbarian having like three different sets of dice now that it uses for things mm -hmm. um they're not quite going full third for third fourth edition with it um, but it's it's turning back in that direction a little bit. And I think it's because, yeah, now there is a good base of people that have joined the game since 2014 who are reliably going to be here to play the game again, who know the game um, and can expend a little bit more brain power to understand some stuff about it now. Um, no, I think the Antichrist just personally does not want me to have fun. Or that. That's yeah. the only wizard subclass that I want to play as a necromancer, but I can't play a necromancer because necromancy wizards suck. Or that. <laughs> no, I, from what I've heard, we haven't played 3.5, or I, I haven't played 3.5 enough to discuss how necromancy wizard was like, uh, even mm -hmm. complicatedness aside. But from what I've heard from content creators that have played it, they describe that 3.5e Necromancy Wizard was unbelievably strong compared to its counterparts, and now it's unbelievably weak. And it's one of those things that, like, the difference between 49 out of uh, 49 to 51 and 51 to 49 becomes super strong, super weak. Like, mm. it's so hard to find the 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 balance of that, which makes sense because when you think of the Druid spell that was in 2014, what was it like, Summon Wildlife or whatever, where you could make 16 squirrels on the field. <laughs> Became super yeah. unbalanced because of turn order stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Summoning in general is difficult to make balanced in this game because of turn economy. Yep. But they need to do it, though. It's their job. That's why they get money. <laughs> They're paycheck thieves. You know. We do rag on them, but so far with everything I've seen with 2024, I, I still don't think I like it more than 2014 but again that also could just be be bias because we played 5e for so <laughs> long um but i i have been genuinely surprised by a lot of it um it's I, bad, it's not been be. bad so far it's not as bad i as well. i have thought a lot of the changes have been pretty good actually um mm -hmm. and it seems like they're giving it more of a but that also might be just because we've spent so long ragging on them that it's lowered my expectations so <laughs> the much. The bar is on the floor yeah. and they're it was a strategic a little bit above boy. It. They, yeah, did, this they, on they did this on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> um but yeah, no, so far, I mean, it just seems like a lot of gameplay stuff has been has been changed. It doesn't seem like they're really trying to go hard on like redefining the entire class or or changing the dynamic necessarily. Um, they're just making most classes better at what they should be good at already. Um, so yeah, I probably already made this point in one of our earlier videos about like they were paid for. They presumably got checks either once a week or maybe two times, like or once every two weeks, maybe even once a month for the past five years. Uh, just to make this, which is <laughs> fine, but it's not very different from mm -hmm. before versus how many paychecks did they take to make 5e and it's completely different from 4e yeah, i don't when know did, when did 4e come out was it 2007 am i crazy i don't Indy remember 4e that's correct because 3 uh, and 3.5 were the standard for a while 2008 okay so between 5 and uh, 4 there were six, six years, years. 
and between that's not assuming how much like supplementary stuff for he got yeah between True. five and 5.5 5, there were 10 years <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's telling of how much people hated Fori. Mm, uh, now the question is, how long did it take for uh, them to make the abomination that was Fori? Mm. I I think probably like a week. A week. Mm. Uh, I mean, it depends on when the last supplementary I think, was. I think uh, fourth edition gets a lot of crap. That it, it was. I I've I not actually it. read I've never the source it. books. For I, um, I want to play it sometime just to see what it's it like. It sounds. Funny. I've heard it's very numbery. I heard it just yeah. does a lot of math, and that's why people didn't like it. Is because it has a lot of math in it. Third edition came out in two thousand. Yes. So and then three point five. Eight was years released between two thousand and two thousand eight. Uh, four e eight mm -hmm. years. Well, so this is actually a pretty big gap, but yeah. Mm -hmm. In any case. Uh, well, point five came out in two thousand three, so it lessens it a little bit. I was gonna say, plus yeah. there was there was probably more supplementary info or information like books that came out after even three point five, like other adventures and source books. Mm -hmm. Probably, I, I can't say for certain. I, I mean, you had so. like you had Curse of Straw and all that jazz and stuff that was yeah. yeah. A lot whatever. of the very well known classics of D and D came out with three point five, which again is also probably why a lot of people have rose colored glasses about three point five, but. Mm -hmm. I digress. Three point five is also time. just so good. <laughs> yeah, this video is, we're talking about three point five now. We're gonna start talking about. Yeah, it. screw it. <laughs> we're just gonna, so everybody pull up the point five handbook. Come on. Ain't, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> let me go uh, drive to Ranger. Columbus real quick and buy it from one yeah. of their stores. I'm going to Ranger. Oh, I've been on Ranger for a minute. I'm pulling it up. I was too busy I got it already. talking I about it necromancy. Uh, I have seen complaints that people are worried because this relies too much on hunter's mark which i think is stupid but this one probably but has the, the most point? changes from the outline here that was another thing um going going through the paladin discourse that i saw there was one guy who was like i think they should have made more things class abilities like hunter's mark i think that should be a ranger class ability um yeah, I which i i i was kind of like I, you're you're kind of cooking I, I can agree with that. That li literally only rangers use that. God. Um, it's oh wait, it's the meme. It's the meme. Uh, Paladin Smite, you're looking beautiful today. Oh, yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. Hunter's Mark, you're looking beautiful today. Human Hello, resources. human resources. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah. Uh, so that was something else I saw because I just I just immediately read. You always have Hunter's Mark prepared, and I was like, mm -hmm. why not just make that a class feature? I don't know why it's not. It's kind of stupid that it's Isn't not. Isn't it crazy that I wouldn't complain if Hunter's Mark worked the exact same way as Paladin Smite, but for Rangers, but I will complain about Paladin Smite? Then, wait, no, you're cooking, though, that because would be so then based. that would get rid of complaints about uh, no ranged Paladin Smite, just play a Ranger. Exactly, and they would be strong, or at least stronger. You wouldn't have to make a ranged Paladin. You could just play a Ranger, which would get more people to play Ranger. There you go. Honestly, also something about it being one d six instead of one d eight makes me go like, "Oh, that's not that bad." Mm. <laughs> but also, yeah, I gotta point out the ranger for the the artwork in this one. He's not staring at me now. His tiger is, or whatever that is. It's scaring me. It's some <laughs> kind of like saber tooth leopard. Like leopard yeah. thing. Yeah, it's pretty sick looking. It's staring at me. But he's not. He wants to be your friend. I don't. I do not like his haircut. I gotta be honest. Yeah, no, not he looks I'm, too. He looks too that, modern fuckboy to be yeah, a ranger. It's that, gen, it's that Gen Alpha, yeah, Gen Alpha fuckboy haircut. He looks uh -uh. like he would be talking like about it. skibbity toilet. Gen <laughs> Alpha mop top. Yeah. Anyway. You know, Ranger uh, starts talking about skibbity toilet. We still got favored enemy, although it uh, has seen some significant changes. Spellcasting not... is at level <laughs> one now, just like the oh, true, yeah, instead of level two. Um, you can also now use a druidic focus. Druidic, wow. which comes from Tasha's. They just told that from Tasha's. Wow, mm -hmm. Tasha's, wow. <laughs> uh, also, they level. do their spells like how druids do their spells now. They prepare their spells when they complete a long rest, like druid, but can only swap one out, one spell out per day. Okay, that's fine. Sure. 
Hunter's Mark deals force damage. Now. Hold on, That's calm your horses. I'm reading. <laughs> what? You're I'm jumping reading. the gun. How? I'm it's the next things. thing. I'm on favorite enemy. Is that where you are? Same. I'm on the it's thing the above little, favorite the, enemy. What are you block. talking it's about? I'm not reading between... the gray block. It's in a gray block. That's, oh. that's parentheses to me. <laughs> oh. Don't read the things in parentheses. <laughs> what did it used to deal? Uh, same as damage There's, type yeah. oh. done, I think. I'm pretty sure. And yeah. see, well, if it was of, a that's... class ability, it probably would just deal same as damage type. Yes, I'm sneak. Well, but the force damage, that's pretty cool because not a lot of things have force yeah, damage that's, that's good for resistances. Resistance. Yeah. yeah I, I'm impartial because, yeah, force, almost nothing yeah. is resistant to force. And Nothing's really vulnerable to force either, though. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a ne neutral change to me. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. It is the true damage of true damage. But I mean, <laughs> even if you don't have, like, even if they're not resistant to it, like, they may not be vulnerable to it, but they probably won't you won't lose out on any damage. If anything, it's better because most of the time there will be stuff that is resistant to piercing from your bow. Mm -hmm. So you'll still uh, get your hunter's mark. You'll damage. get your force. Um, probably. I do want to say, moving moving to favorite enemy, which is just below that. Mm -hmm. I just read through it. Flavor wise, do not like it. Yeah, the flavor sucks immediately. Mm -hmm. R has yeah. robbed it of all of its character that it had. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gameplay wise makes sense um but flavor wise why yeah, yeah don't get it just so that everyone can be filled in what they have done is they have made it so that favorite enemy is no longer about tracking things which is like the thing that the ranger was known for <laughs> the ranger thing um now you can just cast hunter's mark more without expending a spell slot <laughs> so nice. you can you can mark more things and and deal a little bit more damage to them they should six. have just made it two separate things. Like, I don't, I don't understand. That, Sorry, that's, that's, I personally think they should have just kept it as it was and added on you can cast Hunter's yeah. Mark more. Yeah, because, like, what was it hurting that you got, like, an extra hear, language or whatever? Hear me out. Hear me out. Ready? Favorite enemy? You have your specific thing that you're favorite against? It doesn't cost a spell slot to cast Hunter's Mark on that, on that enemy type. There you go. Oh, there that you go. That's that would have been good. It's unfortunately that that's not the option they took. It's that. Hire oh, us. I'm gonna <laughs> make that my home rule from now on because it's sick. They can't. They can't even. They have no favorite enemy at all now. Yeah, that super sucks. No language. Well, no. Their their crappy. favorite enemy is the people they hunters mark now. Duh. But like, like, mark on who you. was it hurting <laughs> to have an extra language learned? I'm not even upset about that. I'm upset about the the like Levi said the flavor's all gone. Like like yeah. How important was it to Dylan's character Hector's like his thing that he hated? Orcs it was his whole thing. And, and elves. elves. Yeah, <laughs> that was so important to him. Now they just straight up don't have that. Yeah, it's gone. It's just, and I feel like almost any ranger player can relate. Yep. I don't know. You Did they think it was too close to fantasy racism and decided to take it out? No, surely probably. not. They probably just didn't want to work hard enough on making this, the the uh, feature any good. <clears throat> so instead, they're like, let's take it out and replace it with you get to cast a spell more. And they might use fantasy racism as an excuse to shove that under the rug. I don't know. I um, guarantee they just didn't want to work hard enough on it. Because you so could... The way I would have done it, other than doing the Hunter's Mark thing, is just make it to where they deal more damage to their favorite enemy, period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That just makes sense. <laughs> yeah. They didn't do that in 2014 or now. Yeah. Why? Are they afraid of rangers being good against certain enemy types? I guess. They're afraid of rangers being good. <laughs> yeah. They hate rangers. But enough about that. Uh, they get weapon mastery. Yeah. Now. They can suck too. Wait, no, they can't. <laughs> nope, they don't get that one. <laughs> Nope. For uh, some reason, they're they giving toppled. an example of a strength-based ranger. Yeah. Who would play that? I, I mean, <laughs> Hector was... A, he wasn't fully strength, but he had some strength. He was strong, yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, but also, yeah, I am a personal fan of a uh, longbow should be a strength weapon and not a dex weapon, but... Oh, 100%. Yeah. The amount of force that you have to use to pull one of those things mm -hmm. absolutely should be a strength weapon. Or at the very awesome. least, do what do what they have with um, what is it, rapiers, where you can pick oh finesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make it like a finesse ranged weapon, so you can pick strength or dex with it. 
I'm okay with that. I, I like keeping to the core that all ranger are all ranged weapons are dex and then all mm -hmm. melee are strength except for finesse, just because it's less difficult to learn that way. True. Because a newbie will be like, why is my short bow like this, but the longbow is like this? And then I go like, well, you see, have you pulled a longbow? <laughs> Historically. <laughs> yeah. That's um, why you just always have a longbow at the table at all times. And then when true, they ask the, that, the you pull it out and say, pull it. Pull it. <laughs> it. <laughs> if you can it. do it without crying, you can use dex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need uh... somebody, I, I need to read the, the flavor text for the battle axe topple feature because if we're going to continue. You, the the cringe no the millennial me. writing no no uh, I'm the no guy. The no only thing I like better than rolling to attack an enemy is doing it with advantage uh. <laughs> oh. guys you gotta stop please uh. <laughs> it's so bad oh. we needed more advantage to your advantage what did they do last time I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> something, uh, about, something about rage. Yeah, it was they also, ragier. They also misquoted Monty Python. Yes, <laughs> they did. Well, anyway, uh, uh... Natural Explorer. The other thing that gave Rangers a bunch of flavor is having a a, mm -mm. a favored terrain of sorts. Uh, mm -mm. Mm, yeah, it's just, not a feature. It's just gone. It's just gone. Mm -hmm. It's just gone. So they just unrangered the ranger. They yeah. just give you more spells now in exchange. A a and expertise light. in survival at level two, actually. Woo. Uh, <laughs> so we have just completely gutted all the character from ranger. Yes. And instead of building upon what was there, we have decided to make it a blank slate. It is solely dependent but, on spells. That's The yes. class's identity is dependent on spells and spell casting. Yes. Which, know that it tells you it gives you spells such as Alarm, Goodberry, and Speak with Animals, but not that you can cast for free. No. <laughs> you just get them. Like, may I remind you, Ranger's a half-caster. They probably yes. have, like, three spell slots. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe two. Uh, and we're still on level one right now. Yeah. yeah Ranger got a lot of changes. This ain't looking good, y'all. No. Uh... Deft Explorer, Taryn. Okay. Uh, he sounds they so get... sad. Because I am. <laughs> <laughs> they started so promising and it went downhill so quick. Yeah. We have reached the halfway mark now. We've reached the, this is, <laughs> now we finally found some bad mm. stuff. We went from the least changed class to the most changed and, well, you can tell. <laughs> what? Grants you experience in one skill? That's just not even right. Plus that's, proficiency. That's just, in that's just incorrect. Language? Who wrote this? Was it? That what one are they before? talking about? No, this is a different guy. I'm assuming that means expertise, but I think I, it should be expertise. I, but it says no, expertise not capitalized it's further experience. down. <laughs> Jesus and why do you not? Why do you have to wait to level two to get your two languages? Hey, you get fighting style now, though. That's true, which is a feat. Don't forget it. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with everything getting expertise. I remember now. I remember this in the UA. They were trying to make the ranger some sort of different rogue because they mm. gave them lots mm -hmm. of skill proficiencies and expertise. I am remembering this now, which is fine. I have no memory of this. That's not what the ranger's about. No. We'll see if they keep up the trend from the UA, if it's just a bunch more experience and proficiency. Well, or moving on uh... to subclasses. Oh, yeah. Beastmaster, AC, no longer scales with proficiency, but wisdom modifier. Wisdom. Um, your primal companion can take dodge as a bonus action now. And yet I can't. Okay. lastly that's really funny that's that's salt in the wound honestly i'm a little bit pissed now uh your uh bestial fury can share some of the benefits of hunter's mark with your primal companion once per turn and it doesn't what does tell you what those yeah. nope. do what do you mean by that what does that i'm mean? assuming they can probably also do the extra damage but maybe not what does some of the benefits of Hunter's Mark mean? There's one uh, benefit. What are There's the benefits of Hunter's Mark? <laughs> uh, Fey Wanderer is almost entirely unchained. Unchanged. Excuse unchained. me, not unchained. 
I find it interesting, Fey Wonder, like of the new of the subclasses that maintained, we've got like the strangest, weirdest, hottest ones in here instead of <laughs> mm-hmm. the they're all the toughest ones. Um, we have Beast Summon Fey is always prepared. Uh Oop, Dispel do Magic is not. But Dispel Magic is just a Ranger spell now. So any Ranger can have it. Okay. <laughs> I really think so. about dispelling magic when I'm playing my ranger. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> my favorite thing Very to important. do. That's definitely always the ranger's job. Now, now, now. This next one, though, this was Hector, and this is also, like, the cool, good ranger subclass. Here's the scary part, because this was probably the best 2014 ranger subclass, and it says it saw some moderate tweets. <laughs> so... <laughs> They, they don't, don't get, get extra their extra attack, attack no! uh, if they miss. They get extra damage to a hit a few times per day. Oh, excellent. So instead of always consistently getting to attack again if they miss, now it's a limited amount of extra damage that you get. And you can make an extra attack whenever you do that extra damage at level 11. Okay. Interesting. I mean, sure. Or you can frighten it and creatures within 10 feet of it, which no one's ever going to use because you can make an extra attack. Yeah. You guys Hunter! Remember, you guys remember, I think you should leave the bit where he will get into a debate with you, but as soon as he gets upset, he gets on his phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going pl- to go play Zenless Zone Zero. Uh- <laughs> I'm done with the episode. <laughs> Pertuse it as a left. Wait, you're, you're recording this one. Wait. Nope. <laughs> uh, the hunter has become more streamlined. I hate that word. <laughs> I hate hearing that word in this context. Uh, oh. With hunter's prey and defensive tactics granting you two options instead of three. Oh, yay! I love fewer <laughs> options. <laughs> <laughs> However, you can change the selections every time you take a short or long rest, making you much more adaptable. Oh, I can choose option A or B anytime. Even though, yeah, no, you're not much more adaptable because we've reduced the amount of things you can choose from. You can card flip on your short Instead of doing what, again, they should have just done with the uh, favored enemy, they should have kept it the same and just added that on where you could make that change every short and long rest and have all three still there. Not allowed. The last part of Hunter looks promising at least. My favorite change is the new Hunter's Lore at level 3. You automatically know immunities, resistances, and vulnerabilities of creatures marked by your Hunter's Mark spell. Okay, that's pretty that's, decent. That's cool. Uh, you know what? That's not bad. I am interested in the Hunter subclass of the Ranger being completely based off of Hunter's Mark because it's called the Hunter's Mark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead of the entire class being based Instead off of the Hunter's entire Mark. class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, All that right, seems well. like a better application. We've we've just delved into level three, so um it's not over yet. No level next thing in level three, primeval awareness. Not a feature. Don't get it anymore. It's gone. Bye bye. Yeah, you're not kidding, huh? You can do it you can do it with spells now. We have oh, spells, spells that do and that. The level two thing. <gasps> we have spells we're, we're that do have that, guys. Two class features. For the half caster, the half caster. Yeah. Um, de incentivizing using any buffing damage spells for yourself at all, but instead, the, it seems like they're trying to make Ranger be a little bit more utility um, with their spells. But that's yeah, the thing is they else. were they were good at being utility without spells that if was you their did whole them right. Thing. So like, yeah, no, you're you're like trying to change the method for the result but the method was already there in a different way and the result might be worse yeah this and you're making so the method awful. result in a worse result why 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 do they hate people why do they why do they do bad things to people Roving, why do they keep hurting us uh you get 10 more feet of movement Instead you can't wear heavy five. armor if you want that extra 10 feet of movement and you grant a climb and swim speed you get a climb and swim speed. They gave us an extra five feet of movement. Ooh, to make can't. up for all of the other stuff that we lost. No, it's ten. They changed it, so it's now ten. Instead yeah, of you get an five. extra five. Instead of five. We gain five. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. <laughs> we gain okay. five feet in exchange for everything that we lost. But remind you, 
that we gain five feet of movement at the cost of wearing heavy armor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't do it if you're wearing heavy armor. Yep. Okay. But uh, surely land stride. my favorite feature, Landstride. It's gone. It no! <laughs> level nine. They so far have axed, I think, four. Oh, they're not even done yet. Four 2014 Ranger uh, things, not even in the subclasses, just straight up full class Ranger things have been axed. I'm yeah. trying to understand. Why There's Dylan two more raid. that they're just gone. Uh. Okay, but surely they Expertise. gave us something to compensate. Oh, yeah. Experience. Expertise in two additional skills. You're not now you have rogue. expertise in three skills, so you can keep up with Bard and Bards and Rogues, okay. who have four. I'm not a bar You're you not don't a need to keep up with Bard and Rogues, because that was the cool thing about Rogues! But also, I just think it's funny that they're like, yeah, you have three now, which lets you keep up with the other two I, who have four. I forgot that <laughs> they were trying... <laughs> I remember now when they grouped up the, the, the classes into different sets, and they were trying to include the Ranger with the Bard and the Rogue as, as the skill monkeys. Remember Why? they did that? They called them specialists. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It makes Why no sense. Why does it sense. have to be like another class? That's the thing. They're... You don't have to keep up with other classes in a class feature that does not apply to your class. Give them utility that's part of their class, not part of their skills. Yeah, maybe they should have kept all the features they've gotten rid of, and then they would be useful that things that expertise can't do. Yes. Ugh. But surely they wouldn't have changed mm. my favorite feature tireless from level 10. <laughs> you can get 10 pit points. See, this sounds Weird. right. This sounds decent until you read the next thing. What? This feature is identical to its appearance in Tasha's Call no. of Everything? Hide in plain sight. This is not oh. a ra feature of 2024 Ranger. Yeah, no, it level gets replaced 10. by Tireless. So yeah, instead they, they of got being rid of hide in able, plain sight. Yep. Instead of being able to, you know, disguise yourself and hide in a forest <laughs> or something you just get to give yourself temp hit points instead what <laughs> of course <laughs> i'm about to start rage crying i'm so annoyed yes i love using this feature as soon as literally anything seems off because you get several uses per day and the temporary hit points don't fade until you complete a long rest okay as as I, I hear a weird, weird noise, noise i'm drawing my scimitar and using tireless Level 13, you. Relentless Hunter, uh, <laughs> taking damage can no longer break your concentration on Hunter's Mark. See, that's cool, but hunter, why not give for that, an extra you know, D6. earlier? That too. Why yeah, is also, yeah, it's now? cool for the Hunter, because the Hunter gets it has a better Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Um, okay, At level 14, nature, Nature's Veil! Uh, you can turn invisible as a bonus action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, I think, this one's just the same. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Level fourteen, vanish. No, gone. Yep. It gets replaced by nature's veil. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Oh. Uh, level seventeen, precise hunter. If a creature is marked by Hunter's Mark, you have advantage on attacks against them. Whoa. That's pretty good, but level I don't 17? think it's a level 17 feature. No. Holy moly. No. By this level, you have six free castings of the Hunter's Mark spell. Oh, boy. We're totally not basing the entire class around the Hunter's Mark spell. Hey, remember when they got that feature called Nature's Veil where you can turn invisible as a bonus action, giving you advantage on attack rolls you make during that time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> At level 18, you get blind sight out to 30 feet. Uh, even mages slinging spells from behind the cover of invisibility aren't safe from you any longer. Okay. Uh -huh. Quit streamlining things. They, I don't care oh, if the language they, wasn't as streamlined or easy to understand. Quit streamlining things. Oh, they get a level 20 hey, feature Yeah, they now. get a level 20 feature, unlike oh, everyone else. They get 1d10 force damage instead of 1d6. On what? On what? Amazing. On Hunter's, Hunter's Mark Hunter's damage. Mark? So you're telling me when I cast Hunter's Mark and the Abjurer Wizard cast Counterspell... This sucks. <laughs> but you have four, you have five more free castings of it, though. You can just burn through and 
I do a d10. <laughs> and then, and so then, when the ra whenever the barbarian casts rage and gets counterspelled, oh wait, I forgot you can't counterspell that. See, now you're starting to understand the paladin people. Now no, remember, remember what I said. The paladin thing is one thing. This is the See, entire the, class getting gutted. Also, the difference uh... between that is paladin smite can do at minimum 2d8. This does 1d6 and then 1d10 at level 20. It's it's what I said <laughs> earlier about the, the meme. It's the, you're looking beautiful today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I just want I just wanted to make terrible. Taryn mad. Yeah. <laughs> I This sucks. I'm so mad. I'm not can... even played a ranger and I'm pissed. I understand Dylan's, yep. Dylan's rage and fury. Pretty <laughs> big L this for is the ranger. The worst thing I've ever probably, seen in my life. I've probably seen not going to use this ever in this, a game. This is legitimately terrible. Like this, Yeah. This... It's pretty bad. Boon of Dimensional Travel! Increase one ability score by one, up to a maximum of 30. And immediately after you take the attack or magic action, you can teleport up to 30 feet. Oh and boy. you know, it's really telling that, like, we're like, this is really bad and awful, because 2014 Ranger wasn't great either. No. Uh -huh. Um, But Compared, it's marginally it's better than this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is just all over the place, and it mm. is garbage. It's Why not. It's they... not a ranger. No, it's not a ranger. It's a this... guy who is incentivized to use a bow who can cast spells. You know what this is? This is that one class you can pick in all the Dark Souls and FromSoft games that has is it level one and has tins in every stats. <laughs> yeah, whatever it's called. I think in Elder yeah, it's Prisoner, Wretch. Yeah, that's what this class is. Because who's going to look at the twelve classes and be like? Yeah, I like this one. This one seems like it's going to offer me a lot throughout all my levels and give me several things I can use. Well, just like in Dark Souls and Elden Ring, the people who are doing challenge runs exactly. who want the game to be harder. Yeah. There you go. This is the new uh, Skyrim without walking. Yeah. yeah. 1 to 20 is the 20 to 20. D&D <laughs> without <laughs> class. D&D &D without damage or fun. <laughs> <laughs> or character yeah. of yeah. any yeah, sort. Because now uh... rangers suck at damage. They suck at exploration. They, they just they, they suck just at suck. spell they casting. Suck at they just suck. They, they, they just... don't do anything well now. What do you do? Uh, 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 Hunter's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Which bards can get yeah. and do better do than better. <laughs> It'll Rangers. cost them a spell slot, however, of their one through or first through ninth level spell slots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. that's such a, a, a like Precious resource can't burn through those, can you? But but, but their their hunter's mark only does a d6, and they can't they can't get advantage on attacks against creatures from it. What? Whoa! Hey, we hope you enjoyed the episode you just listened to. If you really like our content, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on YouTube, and look for us on Spotify. If you'd like to see us continuing to do more fun projects in the future. Consider supporting us on Patreon. You can find our page linked in the description above all of our other social media links. And finally, if you'd like to keep up with the zany shenanigans of our lives and check out some more skit-based content and things like that, check us out on Twitter and TikTok. Links in the description. And hey, thanks. <laughs>